What's up guys, it is Saints fan, and today I'm going to be going over the title update 1.17 patch notes or the change log and I'm going to be going through some of the new features that Rockstar has added and some of the fixes. Now as always, I'm not going to go through everything because there's a bunch of stuff that has happened. So I'll leave a link to the support page in the description if you want to go check everything out. But I'm just going to cover the main stuff that you will probably notice. Before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know that if you haven't seen any of the other videos I've done on the cards, as well as the guns and the new clothes, go check those out. I made a playlist. The playlist will actually be linked at the top left of this video or in the description. So definitely if you were interested in what else is in this update, you know, go check that out before you buy them and potentially waste some money. Anyway, getting into some of the new features. So one of the main new features, which actually is pretty cool, there's a lobby queuing system, which has been added to allow players to join lobbies or lobby queues when a session is full. So say, normally, if your friend's in an open lobby, but it's full, you can't get in it. It'll just say, you know, the session is full, try again. Well, now, it'll at least put you into a queuing system, so if somebody leaves, you can join it, which is awesome, because now it makes, a, it makes it so much easier to play with friends and get to the same lobby. They also change some stuff with the on call functionality. So if you use that, you know, you'll have some, some new stuff to mess around with. Pegasus vehicles now despawn faster if the player that owns them is far away from them, which is nice to know. Players are also now able to switch their parachute canopies in the interaction menu. The biggest one for me at least, it's only taken a year guys, a claim all option has finally been added to Moore's Mutual. So now we don't need to call them every time if we have multiple cars. That's, oh man, you guys don't understand how happy I am <laughs> to see that. Also, players who have had muggers set in them may no longer be mugged again until a short cooldown has expired. Players inside jets, planes, or helicopters will now be shown on the minimap with a small jet, plane, or helicopter icon. So it's kind of like the tanks. It's pretty neat. So you can know who's in what. They removed the quick launch feature for the Snap-O-Matic, so now when you double tap up, it's not going to activate the Snap-O-Matic, which is definitely helpful because that was one of the biggest gripes of the last patch. The maximum bet players can place has now been raised from $2,500 to $10,000, so if you got a lot of money, you can uh, bet it on the table when you do some races. There's also a new menu in the barber shop to make it faster and easier to use. They have all the types of haircuts, and then you click on which haircut you want, and then you can choose which color. It's really convenient now. Instead of having like a hundred different things you got to go through. Now it's only like 30. Which is awesome. When somebody uses Lester's ability to go off the radar. A lobby wide feed notification has been added. Which I'm not really sure if I really like that. Because then obviously people know if you went off the radar. And the whole point is to not let people know. But we'll see how that plays out. And then since it's his last team standing, there's been a bunch of last team standing jobs that have been rebalanced with cash and RP. So I don't know if they're better or worse, but if you want to play some last team standing missions, you will probably get a little bit more money in RP if you do better. Now getting into some of the fixes, um, <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> like there's, it seems like every patch is always a ton of these things. So like I said, I'm not going to go through everything. The main one, they fix numerous exploits. No idea what that means. That just, they said they fixed numerous exploits, so hopefully the modding stuff and that goes away for a while. They also fixed an issue where muskets had disappeared from a player's weapon wheel. I know some of you guys messaged me about that, so it should be fixed now. They also fixed an issue where players were able to attack soldiers at Fort Zancudo while using the cops turn a blind eye Lester ability without gaining a reaction. So now if you kill them, they're going to start shooting at you. They also fixed an issue where personal vehicles could become invisible in the impound. That's actually happened to me a couple times, so I'm glad to see they fixed that. They fixed a number of issues regarding the crew emblem disappearing and or reappearing after repairing in the mod shop or respawning during a race. They also fixed an issue where the riot van would not spawn at all the proper locations for players after rank 25. They also fixed an issue where players could freeze when playing GTA Online. Hopefully they actually mean it this time, because I know they said it in the past, but it still persists. So hopefully no more freezing. And it seems like with all of these, they fixed some issues with RP and how much you get in certain missions and death matches and those game modes. And this one isn't actually on the list, but I've heard that they also fixed the Pegasus glitch where it would spawn at the military base even though you were in the city. So hopefully 
everything is good to go. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. That's pretty much it with the change list. Let me know what your thoughts on this DLC as a whole. I think it definitely is better than the Flight School. I mean, it's not one of the best, but it's it's a good DLC. I'm really hoping they don't count this as the October one and we don't get a Halloween one because that would be disappointing, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope stuff that was happening to you in GTA was fixed. Hopefully all the modding stuff's gone as well, all the UFOs and crazy stuff in our garages. Anyway, like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more awesome videos because we are doing the car stuff in Fashion Friday tomorrow. We're going to be testing out some cars. But anyway, again, hope you enjoyed. And as always, it's your boy Saints, man. I'm out. Peace.